with the illness, one woman has died. Tom DeVries joins us now with the latest. Tom? Just a few minutes ago, uh, State Department of Health Service doctors confirmed yet another case of Legionnaire's disease. That means the total of confirmed cases is now seven. An additional three other people have probable cases, a total of 10 people who worked in this building either confirmed or probable victims of Legionnaire's disease. The uh, temporary village of, uh, of workers here is growing in this parking lot in Richmond. These are the offices for the men and women who are in charge of the cleanup operation. They still have no completion date, no completion date for the job. The, uh, a lot of the primary suspect now is this, is this cooling tower. This is the tower that cools the water for the giant air conditioning system in the building. It is believed a likely suspect for the source of the Legionnaire's bacteria that caused the disease. A lot of the effort today, a full court effort by the administration to establish their credibility with their own Social Security workforce. They gathered most of the 1,200 people who worked in the Richmond building in one place today to begin reassuring them, reassuring them that it will someday soon be safe to go back to work. Doctors, federal administrators, safety experts, union officials, all with basically the same message. We will not reopen the building until we are all sure that that building is safe to reoccupy. Then the questions. The first one was, is Legionnaire's disease contagious? Absolutely not. It's, 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 it just goes from, from living in the water to people, and then people don't transmit it. So it's, it's absolutely no person-to-person -person transmission. What about the drinking water? Will it be safe? They're running 107 degree water through all of the, the taps and the cafeteria throughout the building and all the restrooms. And the bacteria is killed off at, at 131 degrees. So we're, we're doing that just as an extra precaution. What about pregnant women and nursing mothers? Are the babies safe? There's nothing that I'm aware of that would say that pregnant women have any greater risk of getting pneumonia from Legionnaires than anyone else. The drugs used to treat uh, Legionnaires do not affect either a fetus or a, a small baby. An additional reassurance, free blood tests were offered today to anyone who wanted it. Hundreds took the opportunity. Late this afternoon, they tallied up and they said 360 people had those blood tests administered today under contract to Kaiser Hospital. They expect the results in 72 hours. 72 hours to put some of the final fears to rest of the people who are afraid that they may have been infected in this building and who have the balance of this week to go before they're absolutely sure. The incubation period for Legionnaire's disease is 10 days. It makes it Sunday before people can be absolutely sure that they weren't infected before they closed this building last week. Okay. Thank you, Tom.